In thermodynamics, the volume of a system is an important extensive parameter for describing its thermodynamic state. The specific volume, an intensive property, is the system's volume per unit of mass. Volume is a function of state and is interdependent with other thermodynamic properties such as pressure and temperature. For example, volume is related to the pressure and temperature of an ideal gas by the ideal gas law. The physical volume of a system may or may not coincide with a control volume used to analyze the system. Overview The volume of a thermodynamic system typically refers to the volume of the working fluid, such as, for example, the fluid within a piston. Changes to this volume may be made through an application of work, or may be used to produce work. An isochoric process however operates at a constant volume, thus no work can be produced. Many other thermodynamic processes will result in a change in volume. A polytropic process, in particular, causes changes to the system so that the quantity P V N display style P V caret N is constant, where P display style P is pressure. V display style V is volume, and N display style N is the polytropic index, a constant. Note that for specific polytropic indexes a polytropic process will be equivalent to a constant property process. For instance, for very large values of n approaching infinity, the process becomes constant volume. Gases are compressible, thus their volumes, and specific volumes may be subject to change during thermodynamic processes. Liquids, however, are nearly incompressible, thus their volumes can be often taken as constant. In general, compressibility is defined as the relative volume change of a fluid or solid as a response to a pressure, and may be determined for substances in any phase. Similarly, thermal expansion is the tendency of matter to change in volume in response to a change in temperature. Many thermodynamic cycles are made up of varying processes, some which maintain a constant volume and some which do not. A vapor compression refrigeration cycle, for example, follows a sequence where the refrigerant fluid transitions between the liquid and vapor states of matter. Typical units for volume are m 3 m 3 cubic meters l liters, and f t 3 Display style mathrm feet carrot three cubic feet. Topic: Heat and work. Mechanical work performed on a working fluid causes a change in the mechanical constraints of the system. In other words, for work to occur, the volume must be altered. Hence volume is an important parameter in characterizing many thermodynamic processes where an exchange of energy in the form of work is involved. Volume is one of a pair of conjugate variables, the other being pressure. As with all conjugate pairs, the product is a form of energy. The product P V is the energy lost to a system due to mechanical work. This product is one term which makes up enthalpy H display style H H equals U plus P V display style H equals U plus P V where U display style U is the internal energy of the system the second law of thermodynamics describes constraints on the amount of useful work which can be extracted from a thermodynamic system. In thermodynamic systems where the temperature and volume are held constant, the measure of useful work attainable is the Helmholtz free energy, and in systems where the volume is not held constant, the measure of useful work attainable is the Gibbs free energy. Similarly, the appropriate value of heat capacity to use in a given process depends on whether the process produces a change in volume. The heat capacity is a function of the amount of heat added to a system. 
In the case of a constant volume process, all the heat affects the internal energy of the system i.e., there is no PV work, and all the heat affects the temperature. However, in a process without a constant volume, the heat addition affects both the internal energy and the work i.e., the enthalpy, thus the temperature changes by a different amount than in the constant volume case and a different heat capacity value is required. Specific volume Specific volume nu display style nu is the volume occupied by a unit of mass of a material in many cases the specific volume is a useful quantity to determine because as an intensive property it can be used to determine the complete state of a system in conjunction with another independent intensive variable the specific volume also allows systems to be studied without reference to an exact operating volume, which may not be known nor significant at some stages of analysis. The specific volume of a substance is equal to the reciprocal of its mass density. Specific volume may be expressed in m 3 k g displaystyle frac mathrm m caret 3 mathrm kilogram f T three L B display style frac mathrm feet carrot three mathrm L B F T three S L U G display style frac mathrm feet carrot three mathrm slug or M L G display style frac mathrm ml mathrm g nu equals v m equals one rho display style nu equals frac v m equals frac one rho where v display style v is the volume m display style m is the mass and rho display style rho is the density of the material for an ideal gas nu equals r t p display style nu equals frac bar r t p where r display style bar r is the specific gas constant T display style T is the temperature and P display style P is the pressure of the gas specific volume may also refer to molar volume topic <laughs> gas volume Topic: Dependence on pressure and temperature. The volume of gas increases proportionally to absolute temperature and decreases inversely proportionally to pressure, approximately according to the ideal gas law. V equals n r t p. Display style V equals frac n r t p where p is the pressure v is the volume n is the amount of substance of gas moles r is the gas constant 8.314 jk-1 mole-1 t is the absolute temperature at simplify a volume of gas may be expressed as the volume it would have in standard conditions for temperature and pressure which are 0 degrees celsius and 100 kilopascals Humidity exclusion In contrast to other gas components, water content in air, or humidity, to a higher degree depends on vaporization and condensation from or into water, which, in turn, mainly depends on temperature. Therefore, when applying more pressure to a gas saturated with water, all components will initially decrease in volume approximately according to the ideal gas law. 
However, some of the water will condense until returning to almost the same humidity as before, giving the resulting total volume deviating from what the ideal gas law predicted. Conversely, decreasing temperature would also make some water condense, again making the final volume deviating from predicted by the ideal gas law. Therefore, gas volume may alternatively be expressed excluding the humidity content, Vd volume dry. This fraction more accurately follows the ideal gas law. On the contrary versus volume saturated is the volume a gas mixture would have if humidity was added to it until saturation or 100% relative humidity. Topic: <laughs> General conversion. To compare gas volume between two conditions of different temperature or pressure, 1 and 2, assuming NR are the same, the following equation uses humidity exclusion in addition to the ideal gas law. V 2 equals V 1 times T 2 T 1 times P 1 minus p w 1 p 2 minus p w 2 Display style V underscore two equals V underscore one times FRAC T underscore two T underscore one times FRAC P underscore one P underscore W one P underscore two P underscore W two where, in addition to terms used in the ideal gas law, Pw is the partial pressure of gaseous water during condition 1 and 2, respectively for example, calculating how much 1 liter of air at 0 degrees Celsius, 100 kPa, Pw. Zero kilopascals, known as STPD, see below, would fill when breathed into the lungs, where it is mixed with water vapor L, where it quickly becomes 37 degrees Celsius, 100 kilopascals, Pw. 6.2 kilopascals, BTPS, V L equals 1 L times 310 k 273 k times 100 k p a minus 0 k p a 100 k p a minus 6.2 k p a equals 1.21 l display style v underscore l equals 1 mathrm l times frac 310 mathrm k 273 mathrm k times frac 100 mathrm kpa minus 0 mathrm kpa 100 mathrm kpa minus 6.2 mathrm kpa equals 1 21 mathrm l topic common conditions Some common expressions of gas volume with defined or variable temperature, pressure and humidity inclusion are ATPS – ambient temperature variable and pressure variable, saturated humidity depends on temperature ATPD – ambient temperature variable and pressure variable, dry no humidity BTPS – body temperature 37 degrees Celsius or 310 K and pressure generally same as ambient, saturated 47 mm of mercury or 6.2 kPa STPD – standard temperature 0 degrees Celsius or 273 K and pressure 760 mm of mercury 101.33 kPa or 100 kPa 750. 06 mmhg dry no humidity topic conversion factors 
The following conversion factors can be used to convert between expressions for volume of a gas. Topic: <laughs> Partial volume The partial volume of a particular gas is the volume which the gas would have if it alone occupied the volume, with unchanged pressure and temperature, and is useful in gas mixtures, e.g. air, to focus on one particular gas component, e.g. oxygen. It can be approximated both from partial pressure and molar fraction V x equals V t o t times p x p t o t equals v t o t times n x n t o t Display style v underscore x equals v underscore tot times frac p underscore x p underscore tot equals v underscore tot times frac n underscore x n underscore tot. V x is the partial volume of any individual gas component x. V t o t is the total volume in gas mixture. P x is the partial pressure of gas x. P t o t is the total pressure in gas mixture. Nx is the amount of substance of a gas X. NTOT is the total amount of substance in gas mixture. See also Volumetric flow rate